The iPhone 6s and 6s Plus release this Friday, and in this video we're going to be going over the top accessories for your brand new iPhone. So let's talk protection for your device. So you're getting a brand new iPhone in the mail this Friday, you're going out waiting outside an Apple store, your carrier store, but you want some sort of case. So there's a couple of different options on Apple's website. There's the iPhone 6s silicon cases and the iPhone 6s and 6s plus leather cases. So the difference between the two is obviously the material. The silicon cases come in a little bit more colors. You got your product red, you got your orange. The leather cases do come in only about five different leather options. But the, while these may be awesome cases for the back of your device, the front of your device is left completely unprotected. So there is a quick solution on Apple's website. There's a Tech 21 Impact Shield Screen Protector with anti-glare for the iPhone 6 and 6S, but that's $34.95 for what just looks like a piece of, uh, piece of material over top of the display. So keep in mind that OtterBox is making specific iPhone 6S Plus cases and 6S cases. They are just concerned with the, um, the screen protectors interfering with 3D touch. So while their current 6 and 6 Plus cases will fit the 6S and 6S Plus uh, devices, uh, the specifically made iPhone 6S and 6S Plus devices will not ship until October, it looks like. So now that we have protection for your device out of the way, let's talk about charging. So probably one of the most popular charging docks for the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus is the iPhone Lightning dock. Now, the difference was the old Lightning dock only came inside one collar. This comes inside the collars of silver, gold, space gray, and rose gold to match the brand new iPhones coming out. So, these, this may look very fragile at first because it's literally a weighed down base and it has a uh, charging port in the back for power and then it has a headphone jack if you want to plug in your headphones. But the only thing between the actual uh, stand and the device is the lightning cable, the male lightning cable sticking up out of it. And you may think this may not be very secure, but it's a very popular device and it actually holds very well with the, with the heavy iPhones. iPads, not so much. Technically, you can use this with any type of um, device as a lightning connector, but also you got to be careful with this device. You got to be careful of the case that you get. Uh, my concern is that the otter boxes, with otter boxes being so thick, uh, you will not be able to get the male lightning connector into your iPhone. So that is one concern with this product, but seems to be very, seems to be very popular if you have very slim or no cases at all. This last one isn't necessarily iPhone related, but I saw this and I wanted to talk about it. I'll probably be picking this up as well. So this is the Elevation Lab nightstand for Apple Watch, and it comes in a few different colors. And basically the reason why I like this product so much is because the simple fact that whenever Watch OS 2 comes out, uh, it will function perfectly as nightstand mode. It lays on its side and functions as an alarm clock. So I will probably pick this up at some point, uh, probably whenever we get word of when I, whenever Watch OS 2 is gonna come out. As you guys know, uh, Watch OS 2 was delayed because of a, uh, a bug that was inside the operating system. So this was pretty cool and I thought I'd share you guys, not really iPhone related, but still pretty cool if you have an Apple Watch. So there you have it. There is some very slim pickings on accessories right now for the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, but hopefully as we get past Friday and into the launch, we'll see more and more accessories. So what do you guys think about these products? Let me know inside the comments below and be sure to subscribe to TechSolid and visit our website at www.techsolid.tv for more content. My name's Preston. We'll see you guys inside the next video.